Hello, welcome to our new tutorial and it's called Audio Glitch and it's done with Platoon in a new version and new features from version 1.5 and we want to create a audio driven glitch effect and this is how it will look like. So it's very easy, it's very fast. Let's get started. First we need a new composition. Make it HD or whatever you like. 10 seconds, 25 frames, black background, hit OK. The settings are up to you. And the next is we need a new solid, new solid, and we call that BG for background and hit OK. Next is we like to apply Platoon to this. For all of you who didn't know Platoon, Platoon is a texturizing plugin in general and in the new version 1.5. They added some very cool glitch display swap flicker effects where you can do some very funky, cool uh, things very easily. And uh, check this out. There's a trial version to download and uh, you can check this out. And uh, yeah, let's uh, apply Platoon to our text layer. So I type in Platoon, double click this and it will Prompt starts texturizing our layer with a checker pattern and that will thus Platoon always in general starts with a checker pattern. In the full version Platoon comes with a bunch of uh, cool bitmaps and of course you can uh, import your own maps and they will always stay inside After Effects. You don't have to search even more for your textures, they will stay here in this plugin which is very handy. Um, I need some uh, concrete in our case, I'd like to have this one. And if I choose this texture, it automatically starts texturizing my layer. Next is I will make it a 3D layer and I want to tint this in a bluish color. So try some bluish like this is fine for me. And I bring up the opacity to something around 24, 25, something like that. So fine. And next is I need a light. I go to layer new and light, make it a point light. I give him some purple color. Intensity 100 is OK and this is the result. So next is I bring in the audio track. So put it below all other layers and right click the audio track and go to keyframe assistant and say convert audio to keyframes. And that will make a new layer called audio amplitude and in this layer you have an effect and here you have your channels left, right and both channels and each one has a keyframe uh, line here and make sure to check the values of your sound to some peaks. I know that we are very silent at the beginning and after uh, two or three seconds we start with the music. Here we go. We have some peaks around 40, 50. So for me it's clear I'd like to um, let the glitch happen on every uh, volume that is bigger than 30. But you can try this on your own and you can manipulate that to, uh, to your project. So let's bring in the text layer. This could be also a EPS layer, movie clip or whatever layer you like to. We choose a text uh, layer and call this glitch, ne, audio glitch, sorry. We call that audio glitch. Okay, let me see if I type that the right way. We scale it up. Here we go. Yeah, it looks good. Audio glitch. Perfect. And let's apply Platoon to this text layer. And keep in mind, it could be any layer in After Effects. And it automatically again starts texturizing with this checker pattern, but we don't like to see the texture. We like to have a glitch. And we like to have the glitch driven by the texture here in the material slot. So. For that, I bring down the opacity so I can see my white uh, text layer and I go to glitch and activate the glitch effect to see what happens. And as you see, it starts glitching according to my map here in the material slot. So if I change the map to something like uh, halftone patterns, for example, it automatically updates the glitch effect. And this is exactly which glitch effect I'd like to have for my text layer. So. First, I will unactivate the glitch effect and I will Alt stopwatch click or on uh, Mac command stopwatch click the glitch active. 
and this gives me the expression window and I try to explain what I type here and first is I say g for glitch equals zero for me that makes clear g is volume zero which is fine for me next is I put if open parentheses and then I pick with this pick with tool here my audio layer and especially the slider on the left channel could be also the slider on the right channel but I pick that and this gives me if open parentheses this comp layer audio amplitude left channel slider so if this value is bigger or equal 30 and then close parentheses so if the value is bigger or equal 30 G equals 100 else 0 now I need the semicolon and I need a wiggle expression so type in wiggle open parentheses G comma G close parentheses and that's mainly it for the expression we have a mistake here yeah I put a semicolon between these two two G so it's G comma G and that's mainly it so that means here in the beginning I will have no glitch and if my value cranks up I have the glitch happened let me make a quick RAM preview for you so hopefully it's not too loud here Okay, so that works perfect. So now you can achieve the glitch effect if you like to. You can manipulate that and customize that. One thing is you have the max shift pixels where you can shift the pixels in a max way. Um, for me, uh, 20, it's okay. Let's say, oh, no, let's try 80. Should be a bit more power there. Here we go, yeah. And you can tint the R, G, and B channels to a color that fits to your design. So for me, the greenish color is not my favorite. So I bring this, I tint that to some, th some kind of bluish, like this. And also the red one is too hard for me. I want to have it some kind of orangish, something like that. That gives them a cool look and feel, okay? So this is mainly the idea of the glitch driven by an audio. So and this is a seven minute tutorial. I mean, this is quite fast and quite easy to achieve this effect. You can copy this expression to give him some more uh, information and some more um, effects string C on the keyboard and go to the displace modifier in the platoon um, plugin and if you activate that and you drive to progress you will see it starts displacing according to the map in the material slot your um, your text layer and you have several options you can do this bidirectional or you can do that radial if you do this radial make sure the amount is not too high so bring the progress to something like one to see what happens there um, or let's try two here we go and you see it will displace this in a radial 3d space so let's take this direction center and bring this to somewhere here so that we achieve the fact that it pulls to the front of the screen that looks cool and if you bring the amount up to let's say five you will see it starts pushing forward okay so this is also a very cool effect you can control this also of course by this displace active so I uncheck that I alt stopwatch click the displace active and simply paste my expression and now again it starts only displacing by flipping. you see now we have the displacement and the flickering on the beats okay so next I'd like to have a little bit random here in the texture there are two ways to do this one is we have a texture swap option so if you simply activate the swap option and bring the uh, swap frequency to something like 12 then it will automatically swap the textures in the halftone patterns here in your material library uh, over time so in this case 
you will achieve some different uh, glitch effects. According to the map, because this will change over time. Let me give you a preview. Here you see what happened. It changes, it changes uh, simply the glitch driving texture and so it, it changes the displacement and also the glitch, which is very cool. Um, of course, you can, you can even yeah, tune that a little bit by giving him some glow. Bring in some glow. And I want to bring the radius up, something like so. That's fine. And it will crank the threshold a, bit up, a little bit up, something like so. And it looks cool. I only like the glow happen on the beats. So for that, again, I type in my expression. I alt stopwatch click the glow intensity and paste my expression. In this case, we have here, uh, let me let me bring this up for you. Where is my glow? Here we go. Here's the glow intense. Here we go. So now you can see the whole expression. So we put G to zero. Then if the volume of the slider is uh, greater or equal to 30, G is 100. In our case, we want to be G, the intensity, the glow intensity. So this should be then one, else zero. And uh, we can leave the, we can delete the wiggle expression. We don't need that. Here we go. And now it only will start, to give you a preview again, it only will start glowing when the beat and the glitch and the displacement effect will happen. Here we go. You see that? It simply glows only on the beats according to the expression. So next is, as we had in the preview, we duplicate the audio glitch layer, string D on the keyboard, take the layer below and scale it up. Here we go, something like so. And put it over here in the center and go to the opacity, T on the keyboard, and bring this all the way down to, let's say, 15 or something like so. Yeah, 13 is okay. And now we have both text layers driven by the same effect. Here we go. Here starts the beat. So this is very cool. And of course, and of course, each text effect you apply to the text layer will stay. So for example, if you go to your uh, animation presets to the text effects and uh, apply to your first uh, text uh, layer, the bloom flower, for example, it, it automatically will keep the data of the glitch and only uh, applies that and, and applies that to the animation. So and also the displacement is driven by this. So you can still animate your text layers or even other layers within this effect. This is one cool thing. So on and on. This is a very cool, uh, very cool plugin. And make sure to check out our other tutorials on our tutorial channel. We have some very cool other tutorials for Platoon or for particular effects or whatever uh, you like to. Um, make sure to check that out. Make sure to check out the in-depth tutorial of Platoon. And we see us in the next tutorial. My name is Oliver. Thank you for watching. Bye.